Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Saturday, October 24th of 2020. Well, the closer we get to the presidential election, the more chatter and debate will arise. When I'm asked about what party I support, they're usually surprised with the answer I give them. My response is that I'm neither Democrat nor Republican. I'm a Christian. I'm for whoever will give the platform of Jesus Christ the best moral ground to flourish. This usually opens the doors for real conversation regarding the true issues that are at stake with this election. The topic that receives the most conversation is the point that this is not the political battle that everybody seems to think. This is actually a spiritual war between good and evil, cloaked in the garment of politics. Most discussions are usually intrigued with this viewpoint. In fact, very few will not engage me with this. Try it sometime. Today, this morning's prayer sounds the alarm for the upcoming election as something spiritual disguised in politics. Father, there is much going on in the world today. In fact, there is much going on that most people do not even realize. Everyone is focused on the presidential election on November 3rd, but there are virtually only a few who really understand the truth of what has taken place. Father, people argue, even fight, over platforms and issues that they deem appropriate. When will people open their Bibles and study to show themselves approved? Oh, there's nothing new under the sun. What is going on now in the fight for power of this nation has already happened in history, even more than once. Father, the result has always been that those who win the fight but do not honor you will ultimately destroy the nation. This is not a fight between Democrats and Republicans, for those are truly just monikers of man that ultimately mean nothing. This is a war between good and evil and is truly for the soul of this nation. Father, this is a fight between your angelic hosts and the devil with his demonic hosts. It is a battle so well disguised that it is hiding right before our eyes in plain sight that all could see it. Well, Father, it's not a choice between two men, but a choice in lifestyle. Some will say they don't care which party of a person that a person is embracing as long as they are saved. But the fact of the matter is, Father, that if one is already saved, this is not about them. This election choice is all about the unsaved, the unborn, and the preservation of truth. Oh, Father, the simple fact is a vote expresses where you place your faith. It is a reflection of who we are and who we choose to empower. Father, may we stand for the party who will provide the best moral soil in which freedom and the truth of your word can prevail. Father, your word declares in Joshua 24, verse 15, Choose you this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house... We will serve the Lord. Father, it's in the name of Jesus that I pray this morning. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.